There's lots of people online who are going to constantly tell you about why you should be optimizing your life for maximum performance or trying to get the most out of every day because that's the purpose of life is to just get as much as you possibly can done. Be as productive as you possibly can be. The problem with that, though, is productive for what? Productive to what aim? What is the meaning of getting more accomplished if what you're getting accomplished doesn't have a ton of meaning? And it's a little bit of a race because when people are on the initial part of the journey, they're thinking to themselves, I have to get productive, I have to get productive. However, it's only once they get productive that they're able to start seeing to themselves, wait a second, this isn't what I thought. And there's a fantastic book, actually, that I highly recommend by uh, Richard Co Koch, actually, I, I think is the name. It's called the 80-20 Principle. You've probably heard of the 80-20 Principle before, but let me tell you, reading this book, it is a completely different experience and learning to actually read the book. So highly recommend going to read the real resource. But what he talks about is how oftentimes it really is a small number of things, 20% of things that truly has the meaning and the impact that we're actually seeking in our lives. And so if we can start to understand that for ourselves, that 20% is only the part that really has the meaning, then we can start to look at our lives and our productivity a little bit differently. We can start looking at our lives and our productivity through the lens of how much meaning and how important and how valuable and how connected and present am I with the things that really matter to me and getting a lot of things done when a lot of those things don't really matter is productive technically, but it's unfulfilling. And I worry that in the chase for productivity, in the chase for optimization, we're missing something that's a bit harder to describe. And this is something else that I think is a little bit difficult in the modern world today. How do you navigate all of these people telling you constantly online, on YouTube, on Instagram, whatever it might be, that it's time to be more productive, that you should be more productive, that you should wake up earlier, when the question of what is the productivity for completely goes unnoticed and completely goes uh, unasked. And so skipping ahead, if we can start with looking at the meaning and looking at why we're doing something in the first place, which is a much more challenging question to ask ourselves than how do we get more out of our day, it is more difficult to sit with yourself and ask yourself, what is it that I really care about most? What makes me most joyful? And then how do I have an experience where I'm spending more of my time doing that? Now, that's a difficult thing to figure out. Productivity is easy in the sense that it's pretty straightforward. Meaning is much more difficult because it's personal. It's individual. And a lot of the algorithms and the, the internet doesn't really optimize for your own unique experience. What is unique to you? The internet creates this fantastic opportunity where you can express yourself in the most unique way you possibly can. It's a beautiful tool for that. But when it's telling you what to want, it really is about standardizing you to everyone else. And that's why everyone copies each other in terms of how to get the algorithm to work for them. And really it creates a strong, wide consensus about what to want. There's another interesting book you can check out called Wanting by Luke Burgess, which is about medic desire. It's about why sometimes we want things that other people want, even though we don't want them for ourselves, but we get caught in this status game trying to achieve and do the same things as others. Highly recommend that read as well. But really what I'm getting at is understand why productivity matters to you before you get more productive and find those things which could take a really long time. I'm still looking for some of those things myself. Find those things that you truly feel are an end unto themselves. And a bit of a mentor of mine, Richie Norton, who is here on YouTube and some other places, talks about ends versus means. 
probably not his concept, but when you do something that you're, you just enjoy, it's an end until itself. You just feel good doing it. There's no ulterior motive. There's no, and then this other thing happens. There's just, I did that and I enjoyed it to the fullest. And if you think about just a satisfying meal with friends, for an example, you didn't do it to get somewhere. You did it because it's just what you wanted to do and it just felt great. And when I believe when I look back on my life, when you look back on your life, we'll look at those experiences that didn't get us somewhere, but really were just an experience that we had that was singular and profound and meaningful. And if we can stack up as many of those as we possibly can, I think that's a a pretty great way to live our lives. So ask why, look for the deeper joy, look to how you feel when you're doing things rather than looking at the productivity and trying to achieve on that ladder. Anyways, I hope that helps. You can chat with me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Be back again very soon. Later.